What is up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Blaze. Today we are back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hopefully you guys are having a very, very good day today. And today we are going to talk about the Gathering of the Gods here. The hardest event that is coming on the game of Global Dokkan here. So today we are looking at some team builds for you guys to beat the event here. So before I go into the video or to the team building, I do want to uh, talk about what is this event here. If I had to describe the uh, Gathering of the Gods, I would say it's definitely a mixture of Super Bad Road and also, of course, Infinite Dragon History event, which would very imitate the Legendary GT Goku event. Now, one thing that actually makes this um, much more difficult compared to Legendary GT Goku event is that, one, you're not able to bring any nuking leaders, um, which is not a huge big deal, but, I mean, there are characters in the uh, nuking uh, system here that are actually very, very good. For example, Golden Frieza, Taikani Vegito, uh, SCR Goten, like these characters, even though they're part of the nuking leader, it just adds their own passive, they're very, very good. But Forge decided to take them out of the event here. Uh, also, you're not able to use here, of course, Devil Man because Devil Man does have that one out of 10 million chances to basically nuke the leaders here in one shot. Here, uh, number two, actually, makes this also very difficult is going to be here the use of items. Um, as you guys can tell, you are only able to bring one support item here, which is really very very tricky because uh, again these guys hit very very hard and hp is a huge factor because uh listen one wrong super attack and you are lights out right so that's one thing that actually makes it very difficult is that you're also only able to bring one support item now there were pretty nice that you could also bring a support memory but really that one support type item is a huge huge factor uh, number three that actually makes it very difficult as well is that the gods of destruction are all very unique and they all have their own special gimmick because there's some that can change their typing uh, they can dodge, they can steal your attack, they can attack everyone um, as well. They can do an AoE, they can stun your units, they can also seal your units, they also can lock your units. So a lot of things could go wrong in the God event here. Uh, but I will show you some teams here that can at least make you survive the event here, right? And also in the, the fourth part actually makes it very, very annoying is that you only have your three chances in order to beat the event, which is very annoying because... Sometimes you have a very good run, but then that one super attack at the wrong place at the wrong time will get you killed here. So, um, yeah, this event, I would definitely say, is very, very difficult. Uh, really, no place for the week uh, because you definitely need a very, at least a very good stack account. You don't have to be a big-time whale, but you need to have a very good set of units in order to do this event here. Um, now, I will first start off with the first wave of the Gods of Destruction because they do come out in waves of each of the celebration. So, first things first is that the first wave of Gods of Destruction are going to be here Ewan, Hellas, Moscow, and Quetella. Uh, these guys are, no, they're not really the hardest ones. I would definitely say Moscow is definitely the hardest one, uh, but the rest you definitely do not want to underestimate here. So, first things first, we are going to start off with Ewan. As far as part of the team build here. Now, Ewan, um, he's basically immune to everything, but he can also dodge here as well. Uh, he's not really the hardest guard of destruction, but you definitely do not want to underestimate him because he will definitely take you to school here because he hits very, very hard here. Um, so, we are going to look at some characters here. So, the first things first, uh, you definitely want to, when you go into this adventure, you definitely want to go here with type advantage uh, just because it's much, much easier. But again, even with type advantage, you are gaining pretty much destroy if your characters don't have high defense here. So of course, we are going to be using here Dokkan Battle Optimizer and also using Dokkan Wiki to help take a look at the event here, right? So first things first, we are going to go here with AGL. Now one unit I do want to make out here, that's actually very, very good, uh, um, that you must run if you are missing certain characters, is going to be here. I guess you can mention that it's a not noticeable or a, whatchamacallit, a very like top tier character. I'm actually go here to Universal Survival Saga. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people know who she is, but I mean, if you are missing that one character in your team build, you can definitely bring this character because she will save you. And it's going to be here, this Tech Khalifa. This Tech Khalifa is a goddess in this adventure because she does have a 100% chance to dodge. I don't believe there's any gods of destruction that do cancel your dodge. So Tech Khalifa, if you are missing that one unit that's going to be part of your of your um, team building, then you can definitely bring Tech Khalifa, even though she's not getting any of their leader skill. She does have that 100% chance of dodge, so it, it becomes very, very clutch when it comes to being the Gods of Destruction here, right? So, again, we are going to start off here with uh, the um, Ewan here, right? So, Ewan, let me actually go ahead and do this here. Ewan is going to be here a um, STR type, right? So, definitely bring here AGL. Now, of course, uh, this event is definitely geared to the new units, uh, which is going to be UI Goku and also the uh vegeta here super saiyan blue vegeta now fortunately we don't have him here in the system so for purposes we are just to pretend here 
that the UI Goku is gonna be here. Uh, let's actually make it Spirit Bomb Absorb. Actually, no. Let's actually put. Who can we put? I should just put you as. Let's just, let's just pretend here that this Goku is gonna be UI Goku here, right? So, um, UI Goku, he is fantastic. He is disgusting. He can definitely carry you into the Gods of Destructions uh, event here because he does have that 70% chance of dodge. He also has the revival mechanic, which will be very, very clutch as well. I mean, it's not very easy to activate his revival mechanic, but still very, very good. Um, also, he does have that guaranteed crit if he does do additional super attack, which he does have a high chance. So again, it is very, very good here. Um, and he is going to be also part of the Miraculous, sorry, Miraculous Awakening and Raps of Universe 7. So you also want to bring here in this event here, um, if you do have the UI Goku, uh, you definitely want to bring here Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, if I can find him here, he's going to be very, very good, especially with his EZA. Uh, he will definitely dominate this event here. He also has a 30% chance to dodge, which is very, very good. Uh, so again, he is part of the category, the Miraculous Awakening. Um, and that's actually very, very good here for uh, Goku, right? Um, and also for being the event here. Let me actually just go ahead and put Super Type here. All right, so there we go. So that's much, much better. And actually go ahead and put Miraculous Awakening. Uh, let's actually go ahead and... Oh, actually, we don't have it here yet. Here, that's unfortunate. All right, so I'm going to have to do this old school here. But yes, you definitely want to bring Vegeta. Vegeta's be completely fine. He'll be very, very good. Uh, another unit that you could bring here that's part of Miraculous Awakening. You could bring AGL Gohan if you want to as well, the LR. Now, the LR is that he does need to get some super attacks because, again, uh, this character could get clipped the first, you know, the first round here. Um, but as long as he gets, like, two, three super attacks, Gohan will be fine. But again, E1 does hit very, very hard here, right? Uh, so another character that you could bring here as well. You could bring here um, Vegeta here, the Int one. If you do have him, he will be very, very good. Now, again, we don't have either UI Goku or Vegeta yet on the Dokkan Battle Optimizer. So we're going to pretend that this is going to be the Int uh, Vegeta here. All right. And then also another character you want to bring here is going to be the Skinny Boo. This Skinny Boo is fantastic. He is going to be part of the second leadership of the UI Goku, which is Reps of Universe 7. Skinny Boo is fantastic. He's really, really good. Uh, I'd definitely say he's a must run in this event here because he's just very, very strong here, right? So uh, that's going to be it for the AGL. Is there anyone else I can bring here? You could bring Bardock and you could bring the, I guess, the Vegeta here. But I mean, those guys do get clipped here, so I probably wouldn't recommend it. But what you could bring here as well is that is this is the part I was talking about. If you are missing that one unit, you can definitely bring here Tech Khalifa, right? Tech Khalifa is just fantastic. Now, she's not going to be getting any of the leader skill, but again, she does have that 100% chance to dodge, so which is very, very good. So where is going to be Khalifa? Right here. And then we bring here another UI Goku. So I just go here like this. All right, again, we're going to pretend that this Goku right here is going to be UI Goku, uh, if I can find him here. Uh, where you at? Where you at? Um, I just had this character. Are you kidding me? Where are you? Oh, there you go. Boom, there we go. So this is going to be your team build here. Again, we are going to pretend that this is UI Goku, if you do have him. So this is going to be your, basically your main rotation. You definitely want to keep here this Goku in the front. Uh, he will dodge everything uh, every single time because, again, he does have a 70% chance to dodge, which is very, very good. Also, we're going to bring here Khalifa in the middle because Khalifa is going to be very good as well. She has a 100% chance to dodge, which is very, very clutch. And then the rest, you just want really want to go ahead and just basically uh, make them attack here. Uh, you could leave Vegeta on rotation because he does stack up defense for, I believe, three turns here. Or is it six turns? What is easy? Let me just take a quick look here. Uh, he does, let's see here. He does stack defense for six turns. So, I mean, that's attack here. Sorry, my bad. Um, yeah, you can definitely leave Vegeta on rotation, even though he's not stacking defense for six turns. Uh, he does have that mechanic of, uh, of um, dodging super attacks and countering as well. So he's very good to have on the staple as a round two or slot two character. And of course, you want to go ahead and bring Skinny Boo here as well. I uh, believe Skinny Boo is going to be very, very good. Or if you want to as well, you can actually leave the Vegeta here as well. Vegeta does have his damage reduction. Even though he's type neutral, he's still very good defensively. Um, as long as, you know, he builds up his, his, his defense here and doesn't get supered, you're pretty much good to go here. Um, but again, uh, this is probably be a very solid team build. I mean, Tech Khalifa is definitely carrying... You definitely want to place Khalifa where most attacks are going to be because, again, she does have that 100% chance of dodge. So she, so she will be very, very good here. Again, Gohan, he's good, uh, but you do have to make sure that he is attacking his defense. Uh, so as as long as the event is keep going, he'll be tanking very, very well here. So that's going to be one team build that you could bring here if you do have a UI Goku. 
Now, if you don't have the UI Goku, do not worry. You still have a lot of good options here. Now, I'm not going to do every team build because it'll be, the build will be way too long. But you could bring here PyCon. PyCon is actually very, very good. As long as you give him that one key sphere, he will be fine here. Uh, you could also bring here, of course, here, uh, what is his face? Easy Tapion. Tapion will tank very, very well. Even though he's on a 130 lead, Tapion is just very, very good. Uh, another character you could bring here, of course, you can also bring here the um, LR, Kale, and Khalifa. These guys, once they super attack once or twice, they're pretty much good to go here. Uh, but they do have to super attack at least once. Because, as you guys know, they do attack multiple times. Uh, and they do have advantage against the um, Tournament of Power units. Um, or Pure Saiyans, right? So, again, these guys, the God Destruction are part of the Universal Survival Saga. Or, like, the Tournament of Power. So, these guys will be very, very good. Uh, another character that you could bring here as well. Uh, you definitely want to bring here Skinny Boo as well. You could bring... Uh, uh, Asia Khalifa you, if you want to as well because she does have that good chance of dodging um, So you can definitely bring her as well. She will link up pretty well with the AGL Khalifa But I mean her defense isn't as great as the other ones here, right? So again, that is another good option you could bring here if you don't have the UI Goku And of course another character that you could bring here as well. You can also bring Vegito Vegito is a very good character uh, because he does have that damage reduction um, as you guys can tell um, and he just also counter very very good as well here. Now the only thing is that you do have to watch out for um, Super attacks, but as long as he's not getting supered uh, the AGL Vegito will be very very good here um, Let's actually go back here to you here. Let's actually go here to I Guess we can go here to Super Saiyans. Yeah, Super Saiyan. There we go oh, Actually Super Saiyan 2. Let's actually go here to Fierce Battle here all right, there we go. So I think I should go on Fierce Battle. It'd be much more, much more easier to get the characters here. But uh, yeah, so you definitely want to bring here Super Vegito because again, Super Vegito does have his damage reduction, which is really good. I believe it's ninety percent as well. All right, there we go. And let's see here was Easy A. Oh, sorry, it's eighty percent damage reduction. And also, if your HP is below forty percent, you can tell where you're gonna get Super. So characters like Tech Khalifa will look very, very good because you can just sit Khalifa in the front there. And she will just automatically dodge the attack. So that's going to be another rotation that you can rock with. Um, with um, AGL PyCon. Now PyCon again also does have a 50% chance to dodge. Uh, because it is a high chance if you give him that one rainbow key sphere. Which is very very doable to be honest. Um, but this is another team body you could rock with in order to get the event done here. right? So if you actually take a look here. Uh, everyone should link up pretty well here. Now uh, I believe PyCon and Tapion... They share experienced fighters and fierce battle. Okay, which is, I mean, it's okay. But your main rotation you definitely want to rock here is definitely be this rotation right here. Just like this. Because then these guys share four links together. But again, she's not getting, getting I mean, she is actually getting the 130 lead from, from Tapion. So actually, Khalifa is going to be pretty good here. Uh, your second rotation you want to go ahead is bring here uh, Skinny Boo. Just like this here. And you could probably rock him with, ta with uh, Tapion as well. Because they do share three links together, which is very, very good. Again, Skinny Boo does have that high chance to dodge, but also gets attacking defense 300% for the first eight or seven turns. So he's also going to be very, very good for E1 here. So it's going to be only two team builds uh, for the event because I, I don't want the build to be too long here. But again, you can definitely rock this team build and you can definitely get the, the run done here. Uh, the biggest MVP is definitely going to be here um, the LR, AGL, um, Khalifa, and Kale because they will do multiple super attacks. So you will be pretty much good here. Uh, the second uh, event here is going to be Hellas. Now, Hellas here is actually pretty tricky here. She's not that difficult, but she could get you like she could get you in trouble here, right? So the reason why is because if we actually take a look here, uh, Hellas um, is actually a very special character because she does change her typing every single turn here, which is you know kind of annoying because now you have to worry about uh, type disadvantage, right? If she super attacks the wrong unit, you could get clipped here, right? So for this team, I'm also going to show you only two team builds here as well. Uh, I feel like this is going to be a bulletproof one here as well. So let's actually go back here. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and look here at uh, categories. So the, really, the only two categories, sorry, the only two categories you want to bring here, I believe that I would definitely get you get the run done is going to be Hybrid Saiyans. Uh, hybrid Saiyans is really a top tier category as of right now. Even on global, even though we are missing some characters, they are very, very good here. So Hybrid Saiyans is going to be very, very good. Uh, let me actually go ahead and find Hybrid Saints here. So there we go. 
I mean, there's just so many options, right, for Hybrid Saiyans. But, I mean, you definitely want to go ahead and bring here the Tech Ultimate Gohan. Tech Ultimate Gohan has been looking very, very good. He hasn't actually been aging very well. Uh, he just had the Guard ability, which is very, very strong. Let's actually take a look here. Yeah, he has his Guard ability, which is very, very strong. And, really, he's just a very good leader for Hybrid Saiyans. I mean, look at the Hybrid Saiyans. There's just so many good team builds you can rock with. There's also the EZAs as well. So, really, like... You can actually just go bring a full Hybrid Saiyans team and you will be good to go here. Uh, so for Hybrid Saiyans, you want to go ahead and bring here... Uh, you actually want to go ahead and bring, let's see here, the Easy A's here if I can find them. Yeah, so there we go. You have Trunks and you have Goten as well. These two together are a monster. They will definitely take care of Hellas because, again, they have that 18% damage reduction. But they're also a support type unit when you have them together and also they share very good links together. You can also bring this AGL, Goten, and Trunks because they have support type for Vegeta's family and also Goku's family, which is very, very strong. Uh, another another unit you can bring here as well. You can bring here the um, free-to-play world tournament Gohan. He's a support type unit, but also has that damage reduction by 58%, which is very, very good. And again, you can also bring here an LR if you want to as well. Or if you want to, you can also bring here... Um, whatchamacallit? You can also bring here... Uh, where's the Trunks here? Um, this trunk's right here, right? This trunk is very, very good as well. And really, as long as you have this right here, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, Trunks is okay defensively. I mean, he'll be much better if you have your a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. But the thing is that um, you will have to kind of sacrifice. Because if he has that Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, he will be able to stack his defense. But again, Trunks is, is providing that 40% attack and defense. So again, they're really, really good together. Uh, and actually, I actually want to bring here another Gohan here, right? So, again, Hybrid Saiyans is a very, very strong category. Um, you definitely want to bring here the both Gohan and Trunks together, but both Easy 8, by the way. All right, because they do share 6 out of 7 links. Uh, your second rotation, I'm going to go ahead and bring this here right here. So, again, these guys are going to be very, very good. I'm actually not too sure if the Trunks and Goten, if you actually need to have them in the same rotation, or if you just have to have them on the same team here. Let's actually take a quick look here at Trunks. And let's actually look at their easy awakening. All right, so there we go. So they get 18% attack and defense and 18% damage reduction when there's a Goten, uh, sorry, Goten uh, on the same turn or create anything on this on the team. Okay, so you definitely have to have them on the same turn here. But this again is a very strong rotation here as well, right? Um, again, these guys do do stack up defense as well for the Goten and Trunks from the um, GT celebration. So really, Hybrid Saiyans is almost like a bulletproof team here. I feel like, also shout out here to Minato Flash. I think he actually knows him run every single event with a Hybrid Saiyans team. So again, you definitely want to go ahead and use here um, Hybrid Saiyans because they will be a bulletproof team. They'll definitely be able to beat the event for sure. Uh, you can actually even leave Gohan on the same rotation. I actually have him linked up with um, Trunks here because they do share Code Judgment, which is a very strong link here. And also, Trunks does raise his defense, but he's also providing that 40% attack and defense as well to Hybrid Saiyans. So, really, again, Hybrid Saiyans are a very, very strong category. Um, that can definitely get the run done here. Now, if you're not very stacked on Hybrid Saiyans, you can actually even use here the Majin Buu category, right? Because the Majin Buu category is a very strong category with the LR, Vegeta, and um, Goku. So, I should go here to the Majin Buu category. Alright, here we go, here we go. Where's the Majin Buu? Uh, there we go, Majin Buu Saga. So again, LR, Goku, and Vegeta will carry this team here as well. Very, very strong. Let's actually go ahead and go to the Majin Buu category. Uh, there we go. Majin Buu. So again, this category is very, very stacked well, with a lot of good units here. So of course, you want to bring in LR, Goku, and Vegeta. The reason why is because they have that 30% damage reduction. And also, they have that free heal once your HP is below 77%. Um, and it will transform into this Vegito here. Now, this Vegito, his defense isn't really the greatest, um, but he does counter, he does actually do a lot of damage here. So you definitely want to save your transformation for like a last resort, because again, these guys, um, these God of Destruction cards can hit very, very hard here. So you definitely want to be very wary of it. Uh, of course, you want to go ahead and bring here the Tech Gohan as well, because he's very, very good. Uh, also, you can bring here as well for the Majin Buu category, you want to bring here this Gohan, who's also very good. Uh, another character that you could bring here as well. I wonder if you can actually even bring this Vegeta here. But you can actually even bring the three anniversary LRs because they do have like free heal as well. And they will link up very well with the Vegeta. And by the way, you can definitely get them to transform because again, like I said before, this event they hit very, very hard. So really after turn six, it's not that difficult to have them um, transform. Uh, another character you want to bring here as well. You could actually bring here this Hercule. 
Uh, this Hercule is actually very, very good. And the reason why is because the lower your HP, the lower, I mean, the higher is his damage reduction. So let's actually go here to the Majin Buu Saga, just like this here. Now, he's a very, very good underrated unit for sure. Uh, if I could just find him here. So Hercule, if you actually take a quick look. Uh, he caught, uh, let's actually look at his passive here. So he has a high chance of an enemy's attack, including super attack, and reduces damage by 50 to 90%. The less HP remain, the higher, the, I mean, the less damage received. So again, he can become very, very clutch. Uh, Gotenks is actually very good for his event here as well. So really, you have a lot of good options for the Majin Buu Saga. Um, is Trunks part of this category? They are. Oh, perfect. So if you even want to as well, you can also bring the kids as well. Because again, these guys are insane. For the Easy Kid, Gohan, and Trunks as well. Um, you can even bring here Android 18 as well if you want to. If you don't have the Gohan. Because Android 18 is just ridiculous, right? She's very hard hitting. She has a lot of good... Um, a lot of good support here as well. So, really, this is a very strong team built here. This can definitely get you to run done. Um, you definitely want to go ahead and leave here. Um, depending on the cards that you have here, you definitely want to rock these two together. You can share six links together. Uh, and you definitely want to bring here Gohan with the Goku and Vegeta. But you definitely want to bring Gohan in the front because, again, he does have that guard ability and can also stack very well. So, again, the Majin Buu category is very, very good, very, very strong. You can definitely get it done against Hellas here. So, that's going to be another team built here for Hellas. So now we're going to go on to Moscow. Now Moscow is not very nice. He's actually not that bad because he is going to be physical. And as you guys know, STR has been on fire lately. But Moscow is not that difficult, all right? So the only thing that makes him very, very difficult is that he does have an AoE that does hit everyone once, which is actually very, very annoying here, right? So uh, he is going to be physical. Now I believe Moscow is one of the God of Destruction that do not dodge. So that's actually very, very good. But again, his AoE is very, very dangerous, right? So Moscow is actually not that difficult um, if you bring the right units here. So we are going to look here at STR. Now, of course, STR, you could bring here LR, Goku, and Vegeta because, again, they have that damage reduction, uh, which is actually very, very good. Uh, so let's actually go ahead and bring here just STR. Now, STR, you have a lot of good units here, especially in the Majin Buu Saga. So you definitely want to bring here this Gohan just like this. And you don't want to bring this Gohan here, right? The STR one, because he's not going to be very good. But another Gohan that you could bring, right, is going to be here, the Tech one. Now, this Tech one is, like, the only exception when it comes to type neutral. Because, again, he does have that guard ability. But you could also stack attack and defense, which is very, very good. Uh, now, you could also go here to the Battle of Witch here. Because that's going to be their category for the Goku and Vegeta here. Uh, Battle of Witch, just go like this here. And we'll go to STR. Uh, we have some very good units here. You have here the LR Gogeta. Sorry, the LR Vegito here. The free-to-play one, which is actually very good. But you also have here Trunks. Trunks is actually very good. Uh, this Trunks does have damage reduction by 40%. Uh, let's actually go back here to Hybrid Saiyans here. Actually, go here to Battle of Wits. Uh, Battle of Wits. Let's actually go here. Just like this. All right. And we're going to find here Trunks here. Now, SDR has a lot of good units, especially with the... Um, upgrades it's been having because there's also been awakens but fortune on global we don't have it yet but uh, this structure is very very good because he also does raise defense by by 30 percent for six turns uh and also has that um uh he does also raise attack and defense by 120 uh the less hp that you have the higher the stats here so again this trunks is a very good unit you can definitely pair him up with the, the str trunks here as well because they do share six out of six so i do, I do share six links together sorry um, which is very, very strong, but also, again, he is a support type unit with the Trunks here, because, again, Trunks is a support type unit for Hybrid Saiyans. Uh, again, this, uh, this, um, Tech Gohan is very, very strong. Uh, your main rotation you definitely want to go is definitely something like this here. All right? And then you can actually have something like this here as well. Now, this Gohan will be fine. He will tank very, very well, uh, which is actually very, very good. Now, if you are missing one of these characters right here, you can definitely bring, of course, Tech Khalifa, because Tech Khalifa will be dodging the attacks here. So let's actually just take out Android 18. Uh, the reason why is because she's not going to get that extra passive since we don't have a Goten on rotation. So let's actually go ahead and bring Khalifa. And Khalifa will basically just, you know, basically take care of business here. Uh, let's go here to Pure Saiyans. Yeah, let's actually go here to Tech, take you out, and then Khalifa right here. So again, Khalifa, even though she's not part of the leader skill, she will, um, she will, sorry, uh, dodge the attacks automatically right so you are in good hands here so this could be your same rotation she actually does share three links with the lr goku and vegeta uh defensively after the super attack they will be completely fine because again they also have that damage reduction so yeah this is gonna be another strong team build 
um, for Moscow, and you should definitely get the run done here if you are rocking this team build here. Um, another team build that you could rock here against Moscow if you really wanted to is going to be here uh, Space Driving Warriors because that's actually filled with a lot of top tier SCR units. Uh, but again, defensively is not really the greatest, but I mean, you can still definitely get the job done here. So we actually go here to Space Driving Warriors. All right. And then again, you can see here the roster is just very, very strong here. So you definitely want to bring here double Bojack. Uh, just because, again, there's a lot of more units on Space Driving Warriors. Uh, you can bring here LR Terles. You can bring here uh, Whis. Whis is actually very, very good. You can also bring here the Free to Play Frieza. He's actually very good. Of course, I'm going to bring here Cooler as well. And you can even bring here LRB Pan because LRB Pan will heal up as well. Uh, let's actually go here to Fierce Battle here. And we're actually going to look here for Space Traveling Warriors. Uh, let's actually go and look for you right here. There we go. And we're going to look for Space Traveling Warriors. Now, you could actually bring LR Beerus, but unfortunately, I don't have him. So I can't really tell if he's actually good or not for Space Traveling Warriors. I mean, sorry, for against the uh, God event. But he does heal up HP as well, right? So that's actually very, very good. But Space Traveling Warriors uh, is going to be very, very good. Whis is a very good unit here. Whis does have that 70% chance to dodge. Um, which is actually very good and he also does race defense after he super attacks So really you have a lot of good options. You can go full extreme if you want to as well um, But I mean LRB pan is a definitely must run because she does have that 50 Sorry, she does have that 55% damage reduction, but also does heal your characters up as well So again a lot of good options here for space driving warriors But I probably would go with the double Gohan. I mean sorry the double LR Goku and Vegeta because uh, Just a much more stronger team here, right? So again, there's a lot of good options uh, you can definitely go ahead and bring you two here together. You guys share five links together. Uh, the good thing is that you can actually even leave Frieza as a floater. Because Frieza is actually very, very good. Um, Turles has very good defense. He's like around 250k of defense, which is plenty enough for the God event here for sure. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you have a lot of good options. Um, again, LRB Pan is um, really there just for the healing. But if you are missing that one character... Of course, you can go ahead and bring here Tech Khalifa because, again, Tech Khalifa is a goddess in this event here. All right, so that's going to be it for Moscow. Or Moscow's here, sorry. All right, now we have here the last character, the last character, which is going to be Quintella. Now, this character, again, he's actually not that bad. He's actually, he's actually the exact same thing as Ewan. Where really, like, they have the exact same thing. You, so you basically can't lower defense. You can't lower attack. You can't stun or seal. And they can also dodge here. So, again, Quintella is actually not that difficult. But, I mean, he's still, like, something that you don't want to understand because, again, that super attack is very, very strong here. So, of course, you want to go here and bring in-type units. Uh, in-type units are going to be your best bet here. And there's actually going to be, a, like, a lot of good team builds. So, let's actually go here and do this here. And in is actually not that difficult, right? So, uh, again, what you could bring here um, is that you can bring here this Goku. Now, this Goku is going to get his easy A, and he will be a leader for Realm of Gods here, right? So, Realm of Gods is going to be 160 across the board. He's also very good with his Extremes the Awakening because he could also... Um, let's actually go here to Realm of Gods here. He can also stack attack and defense. And then when he does transform, he does have that 100% um, chance to dodge as well here. So let's actually go look for Realm of Gods just like this. And there we go. We have here Goku with his Extremes the Awakening. So again, Goku is actually very, very strong. Um... This character is ridiculous with his easy. Even in his uh, transform state, he can still raise attack, uh, which is actually very good. And also defense as well here. So again, this Goku can take you very, very far. Uh, also, he is a, a leader for 100% for um, for in types as well, which is key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%. So really, you can even bring here Gogeta, who's actually very, very good. Or you can even bring here this Gogeta here as well, right? So you have a lot of good options. Now, if you do have your the int... Um, LR Vegeta, which we'll pretend that this is, is going to be this character right here. You can definitely bring him in as well. He's going to be very, very good. Uh, another character that you can bring here as well, which is part of Realm of Gods. Let's actually go here, Realm of Gods here. Much, much easier. Uh, where is Realm of Gods? Let's actually go right about here. It's going to be, there we go, Realm of Gods. All right. We have a lot of good options. You can bring here this God Goku. This god Goku does have a 50% chance to dodge and also to crit, so he's actually very good. You can also bring here Kabito Kai, and you can also bring here Vados as well for support. Uh, and then, of course, you can bring here... Um, again, you can bring here another int unit if you want to as well. So I'll just take you guys out here, just like this. Uh, and then we'll just go here like this here. We'll go with just super. All right, there we go. 
And again, you can bring here go tanks if you want to as well. Or you can bring Gogeta. So there's a lot of good options when it comes to this. All right. <clears throat> All right. So there we go. So there's a lot of good options when it comes to this here as well. Uh, just because again, uh, Int is actually very very stacked here as well, right? So um, if, if you are missing one more unit, again you can also bring Tech Khalifa. Another team builder you could bring here as well if you want to is that you could bring here, I guess, the GT um, Vegeta. He will be very, very good. He is supporting the Vegeta's family. So we're going to pretend here that we are GT Heroes and Vegeta's family. So we're actually going to bring here you. Uh, we're bringing the LR, Goku, Pan, and Trunks, which are also very, very good. Uh, another unit you could bring here as well. Uh, you could bring here the Trunks if you want to. And then, of course, you could bring here Tech Khalifa here, right? So Tech Khalifa is going to be very, very good. Uh, to bring you right here, and then we'll bring back Vegeta. Let's actually bring here like this, and then we have your Vegeta here, right? So again, this is another strong team builder you could rock with. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is gonna be really ridiculous as well. Uh, very, very strong, very, very good. All right, um, and again, he's only got pretty well with the um, Super Vegeta as well. So again, you have a lot of good options as well. You definitely want to leave a Tech Khalifa in the front, just like this. I uh, want to go ahead and bring this like this here. So there we go. So again, lots of good options here for um, Quintella. Now, again, if you are kind of struggling, you could also bring here um, another Majin Buu category because, again, LR, Goku, and Vegeta are just so crazy. So let's actually go here to Majin Buu. Let's actually go ahead and do Majin Buu, Majin Buu, Majin Buu. There we go. And we are going to go here, Int. Oh, actually, let me actually take out, take you guys out here first. So there we go. So yeah, I can go here with another Majin Buu category because uh, there's a lot of good units here who are int um, and LR Goku and Vegeta are very good type neutral. So of course, you want to go ahead and bring them as a leader. Definitely want bring here D3 Anniversary LR. Uh, you also want to bring here Gohan as well. Like Gohan is just so good everywhere. It's really crazy. Uh, you can also bring here Kurku. You can also bring here uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. I mean, sorry, Goku. I can also bring here the uh, go tanks as well here. So this is like another strong team build that you could rock with. And, and if you are missing a character, you can also bring Tech Khalifa, like I said, as well, because she's just very, very good here. So that's going to be every team, every team build here, my boys. Uh, hopefully this will help you out here. Again, um, this event is very, very difficult, and you definitely don't want to take it uh, too easy here, because, again, they could get you killed. But this should be a very strong team build here, all right? So, again, let me know your team build. Are you guys happy for the God event? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not too happy uh, about the event? Um, but let me know what you guys think. And also let me know your team builds when the event is going to drop here. All right. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit like button. Sub for more videos. Come down below. And hopefully, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.